Let's start our live coding session on data cleaning. So we'll first look at the shape of movie as data frame using the shape function here. Remember, we loaded that movies.csv into a data frame called movies. And if we uh, run the shape function here, uh, it gives us a number of rows and columns in the data frame. So we see that there's about 27,000 rows, uh, records that means, of movies. Next, uh, we'll check if any row has null values in any of our data frames. Here, um, we use the is null function first. So what I'll do is movie is dot is null. Uh, this is null function on run on uh, the whole data frame will give us a Boolean data frame. Um, for movie is that movie uh, the data frame will be composed of three series uh, for each column for user ID, movie ID, and rating. And then we'll check if any of those values um, are true. Uh, all of them are false, which is great. That means we have no null values um, in the movie's data set. Um, so we'll do the same exercise for ratings. Um, we'll check if any of the values in the ratings is null. Uh, they are not. All the columns have um, values in them. There are no missing values. Um, and as we go through the same steps for tags, the third data frame we built, um, we'll notice that in tags, there's a true value. Instead of all three falses, uh, we notice the tag column has some missing values, some NAN values in there. So as you have seen, this is a relatively clean data set, but tags uh, column has indeed some values. Let's try to drop those. Um, we will use the drop NA function with the default option of eliminating records rows uh, with missing values uh, in axis zero, or uh, simply rows with uh, NAN values in them. So we'll say tags equals tags dot drop NA and run that. And let's do that same check on is null uh, on tags. We'll see all three uh, return false. So we successfully got rid of those uh, null values or NAN values, missing values in um, tags. Uh, remember when we ran the shape of tags, uh, we noticed there were um, 465,564 rows, records in there. Let's run the same shape and see if we indeed removed some of them. Uh, looks like uh, we removed now there's uh, 465,548 uh, rows, records, uh, and looks like we really removed 16 rows uh, with missing data values in them. OK, let's stop here and see how we can explore this data set through simple visualizations in Pandas next.